Hey guys, Walla here. Today I'm doing a video on hunters. This video is more catered to those who are looking to get better or who are just straight up new to hunters. My opinions in this video might not match everyone else's and that's fine. This is the way I prefer to play and I believe it works extremely well. With that being said, let's get straight to tip number one, which is to always use 100 mobility, unless obviously you're using Dragon Shadow. A lot of you may know the benefits for running maximum mobility, but for those who don't understand the importance of this stat on Hunter are missing out. Not only can you stray faster and jump higher, but you're also reducing your cooldown of your Hunter dodge. Every tier counts. On screen I have each tier and how long each tier takes to recharge your dodge. 2-3 to three seconds might not seem like a lot, but you're losing so much potential not having your dodge up more frequently. Whether you're an extremely aggressive player like myself, or even an extremely passive player, having your dodge up will help you get out of sticky situations a lot easier, which is why I always keep my mobility at 100 when possible. And while staying on the same topic, tip number 2 is about dodges. Which one should you use? I prefer to use Gambler's Dodge. Now, I know a lot of popular streamers prefer Marksman's Dodge, which is the one that reloads your weapon. And yes, at first glance, it sounds like the clear winner. But hear me out on this one. So what's so great about Gambler's Dodge, and why should you run it? The number one reason to run it is that it eliminates the reason to run strength entirely on your hunter. Why? Because every time you dodge next to an opponent, you get your melee charge back. And what do we just talk about with having your mobility set to 100? So not only do you have your dodge up every 11 seconds, but theoretically you could have your melee charge up every 11 seconds, assuming you're dodging close to people. So now I'll admit that this might not be as suitable for those who like to play at a distance, which is totally fine. Both dodges are great, but for us aggressive players, we can find so much more value out of the gambler's dodge. This next tip is somewhat optional. If you're really looking to elevate your gameplay and take it to the next level, then I would highly recommend giving Stompies a try. If you already run them, then that's perfect. But for those who, let's say, runs Worm Husk or Dragon Shadow, those are extremely powerful exotics, and I'm not denying that. But if you have ever put on Stompies, you know how it drastically changes hunter movement. It's to the point where it almost feels like you're playing an entirely different character altogether. The amount of speed and height you get with your jumps is ridiculously better than without it. Not only that, but you get the added bonus of sliding further as well. If you ever wonder how a hunter is moving around so damn fast, Stompies is most likely the answer. I don't want you to feel the need to use it, even though I do think it is the most powerful hunter exotic at the moment. You can still be a fantastic player without it, and that's been shown by countless other people. But if you struggle to close the gap on people on Hunter due to the movement being too slow, or maybe you just find Hunter movement to be underwhelming, these boots are a night and day difference, so I highly recommend giving it a try. Tip number three is something I know a lot of people will hate me for, especially those who tend to do PvE a lot more than PvP, and that is to always run strafe jump. A lot of newer Hunter players tend to gravitate towards triple jump, which is totally understandable. I mean, who wouldn't want an extra jump, right? It sounds extremely good on paper, but in game it's a different story. The directional control you get from running strafe jump is just miles better than triple jump. Which will help you not only move faster, but also throw your opponents off when you decide to jump in the air. Strafe jump also allows you to get a lot more speed when hitting your head off of ceilings and doorways. And as a hunter, that's like the number one way to gain speed and momentum in this game. I'm going to show you a clip comparing the difference in control while in the air with strafe jump and triple jump. You tell me which looks like it'll throw your opponent off more. These clips are also without stompies so it doesn't mess with the movement. This next tip is definitely more for the newer players, but you should be running Icarus on almost all your weapons. As a hunter, especially with Stompies, you're going to be in the air quite a lot, and with that comes some drawbacks. In-air accuracy is terrible on most weapons. Icarus helps with that a lot. 
to the point where it feels like it's almost 100% accurate in the air. The only guns you do not need Icarus on are SMGs and 180 RPM hand cannons, as they have extremely high in-air accuracy already, and it would be a waste of a mod slot. Some of you may not see the need for this mod, especially controller players, that is it doesn't seem practical to be jumping all the time, especially while shooting. Why make it harder on yourself, right? Yes, it's harder to shoot while being in the air, but it also means you are making it harder for your enemy as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying jumping in every engagement in the middle of the map. Shooting someone in the air is easy if they're engaging it poorly. If done correctly, you can get the jump on the enemy quickly. The one downside to this tip is that you'll have to use legendary primaries and energy weapons. A lot of people might not think that's a big deal, but to some people it is, you know? Maybe you want to use a thorn, a last word, ace of spades, but when you're in the air it just sucks. And um, to me that's a huge deal breaker. I just, I can't use a gun that doesn't have Icarus because I'm always in the air. I feel like I'm at a huge disadvantage when I don't have it. So. That's why you'll never see me with an exotic primary like Thorn or Ace of Spades. A little tip with Icarus on your sniper. Let's say you want to start jump shotting people, but your sniper keeps jumping around every time you double jump and it's hard to scope in. All you got to do is pull out your primary weapon. That's not the sniper rifle. And as soon as you jump, you swap back to your sniper and it'll get rid of the jumping of the scope. I know I didn't get too in-depth in this video, and that wasn't really the point. It was just for people who were starting off on Hunters and uh, really wanted to, you know, get to know the character better. So um, I tried to give you as many tips as I could. I plan on making a lot more in-depth videos in the future, so if you're interested in any of that, just leave me a comment down below. This is my first time making a video like this, so I'm sorry if it sounded awkward or, you know... Just, you know, if I was silent for a moment or something, it's, it's, it's extremely different than what I'm used to. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'm going to leave the gameplay going in the background. Um, these guys were extremely laggy. It was not fun, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.